Hello, crafty people of Roswell, Georgia. I wanted to let you know that I have a workshop coming up on uh, Thursday, March 28th. It's from 7 to 9, so it's the latest night. And it is at the Art Coop. And the Art Coop is in 425 Marketplace Antiques, which is an antique mall located at the corner of Grimes Bridge Road and, Alf and uh, Holcomb Bridge Road. If you need a landmark, it's behind the Captain D's restaurant, so you and your lady friends can get some fish and chips, grab a bottle of wine or other beverage, and come on over for the ladies' night out. The cost is $35. That includes all of the supplies that you need. The only thing you need to bring is an apron, and just wear clothes that are not your top-notch clothes. You, we're not going to be rolling in paint, but you may get a splatter here or there, so just be aware of that. The jelly printmaking, I'm going to do a demo for you here in a minute, but it, it is a fun activity no matter what your artistic level. If you never do anything creative or if you make art all the time, there's no way you're not going to have fun. It is just an experimental, uh, whimsical, fun way to make art. And when you go home, you'll have a nice packet of stationery, gift tags, uh, we're going to make some prayer flags, and other fun papers. And, but the main thing that I think you'll take away is just some time to create and express yourself and have fun with your friends. So I hope that you'll join me. Again, it's March 28th, 7 to 9 at the Art Coop. And I'll put the phone number here so that you can give them a call to reserve your spot. Thanks so much and look forward to seeing you there. And just hold on, I'll do a demo for you in just a moment. So just what is this jelly printing plate? This is it. It looks like a big jello jiggler and it feels like a jello jiggler so it's real soft I have enough plates for each student to use their own plate and so you won't have to share with anyone so you have nothing but time all to yourself with your jelly plate uh, we're gonna start by adding some paint to the plate just a little bit of acrylic paint and we each will have a brayer and you'll use this brayer to rub the paint all across the surface of the jelly plate and I'm just going to use a really light coat. I already did one coat of paint on my paper. I did a bright yellow just using the solid jelly plate. Before I add the pink, I'm going to stamp a design into it using this big foam stamp. And I will have a bunch of these foam stamps available for you to choose from, different, all different designs. You press that stamp into the paint, pull it up, you can see there's a design there on the plate. Now I'm going to put this yellow on top of it. I don't know if I lined that up very well, but you'll get the idea. You smooth that onto the plate, peel it off, and look at that beautiful print. So that is how the jelly plate works. Now that was just a demonstration of using the foam stamp. You can also scratch designs onto the surface of uh, the paint using these catalyst rubber tools. I have a variety of scratching tools. I also like to show you how to use all kinds of trash and paper and other scraps to leave impressions in your plate as well. So we have a lot of different ways that we can decorate our paper and have fun just playing with paint and making decorative papers. Hope you come. We're going to have fun.